Hi, I'm Ryan Rungi with AECTEarthBlock.com. Uh, today's an exciting day for us because I'm doing something I've been talking about doing for years, and um, it wasn't until now that I, I knew you could actually buy simulated Mars soil. But I've always wanted to see if Mars soil is viable for making compressed earth blocks, because that would be an obvious uh, choice for building structures on Mars if we ever get up there. Um, you can buy this online. I think it was like 30 bucks, but here's the ingredients and there's a well-defined formula for Mars soil and you get all, you can get all this stuff here on good old planet Earth. Um, this company, this was developed by NASA. This is actually for simulating um, plant growth in Mars and um, it says for the development of Martian roving vehicles. I'm using it for something that's it's probably never been used for. Um, as far as I know, this will be the first compressed earth block made with Martian soil. So kind of an exciting day. So I'm gonna um, put it in our AECT small block press here. I'm gonna, I'm not even gonna bother putting water in. I'm just gonna see what happens. Obviously water's scarce on Mars. So I wanna see what happens if I just um, use the soil itself. If it doesn't quite work for whatever reason, I can, I can do another round with a little bit of water. It, it wouldn't take much water regardless, maybe 5%, which, you know, that would have to be an issue sorted out later. But if it works without water, then we might be really onto something. Um, another great thing is we don't need to put any cement or lime or other kind of stabilizer in it because there's no rain on Mars to uh, erode the blocks. So um, theoretically, if you just make it with the soil, um, you know, it'll stand there for for a long, long, long time, and all you need is one of these presses. So let's see. This is we could be making history here if it works. So I'm gonna put in the small block press as I would with any other dirt, and uh, compress it up to about um, 2,000 psi. So the block has been pressed and uh, it's looking pretty good. Now I'm just gonna um, extract it from the mold and let's see if it holds together. If it holds together without water, that's really something. Um, there's not often a lot of dirt you can do that with. So it didn't really, uh, it didn't hold together all the way. I knew that was going to be kind of taking a chance. So we can, um, we can do a second round where we put water, but it might not take much with, uh, without the water, obviously pretty crumbly. Um, that's probably how, what would happen if you put a sandy soil in the earth block press as is. So let's do a second one where I just mix in a little bit of water. Okay, as expected, we gotta do round two, which is where we're gonna put in a little bit of water. We'll put in about 3% water. And so not a whole lot. Obviously, that would be the log logistical challenge we gotta figure out up there on Mars. But uh, I've got 10 ounces of Martian soil here, and I'm gonna add about 0.31 ounces of water to get us to 3%. See, that's actually more than we need. So this is this is all the water, not not much at all. Obviously, this is a small block, but we're only talking three percent moisture we're adding. So we think that's going to be enough to make it, let the uh, Martian soil adhere when it gets compressed a little more than it, than it did before. So. The key is just to blend it in real well. And we're finding out that Martian soil really stains things uh, pretty, <laughs> pretty good. So <laughs> I'm wearing rubber gloves. Uh, this, this whole exercise 
um, it's kind of near and dear to our hearts because I have I actually have an aerospace engineering degree with an emphasis on astronautics from the Naval Academy, and my wife is my, my wife Melissa, who's filming, who I like to call the first lady of uh, AECT, um, is working in space medicine. She might be taking care of people returning from Mars uh, here in the coming decades. Who knows? So all, all I've done is add a little bit of moisture. You can almost, um, you can barely tell, but now you can see it, it wants to stick together with just that little amount of moisture I added. So let's, let's give this a shot. If we have to do another round with a little more moisture, we will, but um, we might be getting close to something here that'll, that'll adhere as a, as a compressed Mars block. Not a compressed Earth block, but a compressed Mars block. Let's see. So same thing, put it in the mold of our, um, of our small block press. Give this a smash up to about 2,000 PSI. Nice and tight. There it is. The block is in there, it's been made. So now let's try to eject it again and see if it holds together this time. Still not a lot of water. I would normally do closer to 5% here on good old earth, but uh, I'm wanting to know if I can get away with less with this soil. So, definitely better. Not half bad. Still, still a little bit dry, but, but better. So why don't we do why don't we do a more like a five percent moisture, which is really the, the proven um, ratio, and let's let's see what happens. This is round three, and we feel good about this one. We're gonna do five percent moisture. That's really what we would normally do anyway. I've, I've got another um, ten ounces of Martian soil here. This time I'm gonna put uh, uh, 0.5 ounces of water in to get a roughly 5% um, water ratio. That's done. So that's it right there. Um, again, not, not a whole lot of water. So let's, let's mix this in. So obviously we'd need to either take water up to Mars or or find find a source of water. It wouldn't take much, and I know they've found ice and uh, some traces of water in small amounts on Mars, and that might be just enough to to wet the the soil, wet the uh, the Martian soil before putting it in the compressed earth block machine, and you could really get going making some beautiful building material that's going to be. Protect them against the rain, or the, sorry, the wind and um, the electromagnetic radiation and uh, all that kind of stuff. And uh, the fact that you don't have to take the building material up there is obviously a big selling point. Anyway, this is just a, a conceptual test just to see is this even remotely viable and I think we're starting to see that it probably is but we're, this next block I think is going to tell us a lot if it's a lot more handleable than that, that last one was I think we might be onto something so this is already feeling a little bit um, even more sticky than the last batch but I can I can really stick it together and it forms forms together and holds its shape so one one more time 
put it into the AACT small block press mold. Let's compress this down to 2000 PSI again. Here's our compressed Mars block. We'll eject it out. it out wow definitely feels tighter looks a little um, smoother on the edges I can tell that that moisture really uh, got in there and made it tight filled in all the pores and um, this feels like a nice sturdy compressed Mars block to me 5% moisture this is a beautiful building material I think we've just proven that you could build with compressed Mars blocks up on up on Mars uh, using a a device like this obviously we have our full-size machines that can crank blocks out a lot faster and, and bigger full-size blocks um, but um, I'd like to you know mess around with this dirt a little more uh, but this is yeah you, you may have witnessed the first um, feasible building material built out of Mars material um, material that's right can be mined right on the surface of Mars so there you have it, the, the first compressed Mars block.